a rocket ship. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made the mostly printed CNC, or MPCNC for short. It's an amazing open source 3D printed CNC machine designed by Alted, not an actual photo of Alted. I started out by buying all the electronic parts bundled for the MPCNC on the Vicious One website. It includes everything you'll need, including all the stepper motors, belts, and Arduino. The only thing that's missing at this point are the printed parts and metal conduit, which I'll talk about later. As for the parts, there are over 40 parts that need to be 3D printed. For me, that was about 150 hours on the MakerBot 2X using ABS filament. Because the MakerBot doesn't really like to play nice with PLA. So again, to print all the parts takes a long, long, long time. Just a heads up, some of the larger pieces will take over 12 hours to print. So grab a good book, it's gonna be a while. All right, I'm gonna speed up the printing process. I can't sit through this again. One eternity later. Finally, after what feels like an eternity, you're finally done printing. Time to double check all the pieces. Now the only thing that's missing is the metal EMT conduit. Seeing that I printed the 25.4mm version, I'm gonna have to go with the 1 inch EMT conduit. Here's a little something I learned. A 10 foot pipe will fit into a Honda Civic with a little luck and the windows down. Once I got the EMT back to my house, it was time to cut it to size. Included on the Vicious website is a great cut calculator to configure however big or small you want your CNC to be. Once I figured a dimension I was happy with and cut all the piping, it was time to assemble. And this is where it all goes wrong. To everybody who's going to make this in the US, print the 23.5mm version made specifically for US conduit, which is 3 quarter conduit, not 1 inch. I found this out after wasting 140 hours of printing. Bigger isn't always better. Humiliation. So that means I had to reprint all the pieces again. So instead of showing that, I'm going to show you how our cat drinks water. It's way more entertaining. Now back to the video. So after weaving a fine tapestry of obscenities, I went back to the big box store and got the right size conduit. That's three quarter inch. I then recut all the three quarter inch conduit to size and started to finally assemble the MPCNC. I found that a pipe cutter works better than a metal cutting bandsaw on this type of metal. It doesn't leave nearly the sharp burrs as the bandsaw did. Your fingers will thank you later. Putting together the CNC was really easy and pretty straightforward due to the great design and instruction on the Vicious One website. Even an idiot like me can put it all together. After getting the X, Y, and Z axis all put together, next up was the GT2 belt. It's most commonly found in 3D printers. It's hard to explain how tight it needs to be. Hopefully you can figure it out by the video. Next up was wire management. I bought some braided wire cables to organize and protect the wires that were included with the machine. 
I ran it through each side of the pipe and out to the Arduino. Instructions on how to do this are on the Vicious One website. All right, so we got everything kind of built right now. We got the uh, the belts on the side. We have X and Y nice and, nice and tight. Uh, I wired all the, uh, the cabling through the piping with this braided cable management cord. Now included with all this hardware that I got from the Vicious One website, it also includes an Arduino with this board called a ramps board with a firmware called Marlin pre-flashed to the board. Now as good as this is, I wanted to use what all the cool kids were using. So let me show you how I reflashed the board and made it compatible with all the X-Carve stuff. So I found that someone was way smarter than me and made a firmware that will let you run all the X-Carve software with the ramps board included with the kit. I included the link below on how to reflash the Arduino with the new Gerbil for Ramps firmware. Honestly, it sounds way more complicated to flash, but it's pretty easy to get going. Just look at how easy it was for me. Once the firmware was flashed and ready to go, next was to add a spindle. This machine is designed for the DeWalt 660 rotary tool. While I stuck with the DeWalt spindle because of the price, you can add many other types of spindles by simply printing out the specific mount for them on the Thingiverse website. I also 3D printed a vacuum boot for dust collection. It works really well. And now the moment of truth. I logged into the Inventable website and found a ruler to carve out. I figured this would be the perfect project because I could see how accurate the machine is and if I needed to go back and tweak any of the G-code. Alright, now it's time to double check everything and make sure I have the right bit selected and the spindle is on and ready to go. Here goes nothing. Give my creation life! And to my surprise, it's actually working. It's carving the ruler and the vacuum boot is sucking up all the sawdust. I can't believe this actually worked. It's alive! It's alive! Though it took a while to get up and running, I am absolutely floored on how easy it was to actually get it to the point of carving wood. This build wouldn't have been possible without the amazing design from Alted and the Vicious One website. Definitely check them out. There you have it, the MPCNC. That was an amazing build. For less than $400, I have a CNC machine now, which is pretty cool. So check out the Vicious One website. It's got all the information you'll need on the MPCNC. So I'm gonna include the G code down below. Check it out. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. As far as I know, the machine is pretty dead on as far as accuracy goes, but take a look at it and let me know down below if I'm way off on any of the numbers or if you see something that's completely off. Also, if you have a comment about the build or a question, don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer everybody's questions. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Hit the little bell notification if you want to get notified every time I drop a new video. Thanks for watching.